Hey everybody, Aaron Zamzo, FireRescueFitness.com. Say today I have three things that you should add to your daily firefighter fitness checklist. If you are anything like me, you start your shift, you go through the rig meticulously, you go through your SCBA, make sure it's functioning properly, make sure heads up display is working, you go through your turnouts, make sure they all fit and that um, there's nothing worn and that everything is uh, uh, working properly there to protect you. Uh, same with all the equipment on your rig. You make sure your saws are functioning, uh, the rig is, is working properly, um, and everything is, is packed and on the way that you want it. Now, after that, what I suggest you do, and what I think will really, really help, or what I know will help you perf uh, improve your performance, help you think better throughout the day, and actually help you reduce your chances of sudden cardiac arrest, can reduce your chances of cancer down the road, and help prolong your career, are these three things. The first thing is, to hydrate and drink some water. Um, I like to have a cup of coffee in the morning as I check everything out uh, along with my crew. But after that, I start switching to water. Water can help you perform better uh, because it helps keep um, your body um, lubricated, your joints lubricated. It helps with all metabolic processes. It also can reduce your chances of stroke and sudden cardiac arrest. And as it improves your health, it can reduce your chances of cancer. So stay hydrated and, and get in the habit of doing that first thing in the morning and throughout your day and throughout your shift. So the first thing is well, hydrate. Second thing is work on mobility. Get your body moving a little bit better. Personally, I like to foam roll in the morning. We have a 7.30 a.m. briefing uh, and sometimes I'll just hop on the foam roller as I watch the briefing or hop into the, uh, the weight room and do some mobility work, sometimes some balance work, some light stretching. Um, just to get my body moving. Uh, a lot of times, you know, you might have a stiff back or some shoulders. I'm well into my 40s, so that's pretty normal. So I just like to do some mobility work. But that will help you uh, and your body react and respond well throughout the day. It'll help you perform better, and it will reduce your instant, your chances of injury um, on the fire ground and off. So drink some water, get mobile, and then the third thing is eat like a firefighter. Uh, or, and eat like an athlete. I should say firefighter. I've seen some firefighters eat and maybe it's not the best thing, but eat like an athlete. Uh, and what I mean by that is you want to avoid a lot of the sugary foods. You want to make sure that you're um, getting a lot of the nutrients that you need to help with performance and look at it like an athlete would going, uh, you know, preparing for a game. Um, you know, our calls can be very, very taxing on our body and that you want to be able to uh, perform uh, you, you know, ultimately you, you, you have to perform because failure is not an option on the fire ground. So reduce the sugars, cut like the sugary drinks out. Um, you know, the more sugar you eat, the more you crave it. Uh, and it uh, actually causes inflammation. It can cause all kinds of uh, other health issues. Um, so you're gonna hydrate, you're gonna get mobile, you're gonna eat like an athlete. And then the fourth thing is, Train like an athlete, train like a fire rescue athlete would. Um, make sure that you're working on your mobility, you're improving your core strength, you're working your full body functional strength, uh, perform some intervals during your workouts, and just look at your fitness as a whole. So those are three, okay, I gave you a fourth bonus, things that you should do daily to help you improve performance, prolong your career, help you feel better. Uh, and also, if people see you doing these things, you're setting a good example and being a good leader for the fire service so we can help change the fitness culture. So anyways, check back for more uh, tips on how to stay fit for duty. Thank you and uh, let me uh, know what you think with your comments, likes and shares.